Uh, <laughs> okay, let's let's play a couple games. Uh, hope you are doing well that Friday. Let's try to find uh, some opponents. Maybe 10 minutes and maybe 5 plus 5 as usual. You know, for the short warm-up for today. Okay, we've got a first opponent from Serbia. Okay, d4. We've got a Queen's Gambit here. And Slav Defense. I usually play e3. Let's try to maybe play a little bit different today. Okay, e6. And e6, I think this is not the most accurate move in that position. Black should have played knight f6. This is more accurate because right now, uh, right now, white has got an opportunity to play e4. This is very sharp variation, but okay, let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, pawn captures. Main move is pawn captures e4, knight captures, bishop goes to b4. Bishop d2 and queen captures d4, so that variation is very complicated. But if he captures here, okay, I can capture with my bishop and you can see that my center is very strong. Uh, okay, probably his idea is to play b5 and maybe b4, get rid of my knight from here. So maybe a3, prophylactic move. Prophylactic move. Prophylactic move. Okay, I need to move back, of course. Maybe bishop b b3 or bishop a. Okay, I need bishop to move back, of course. Maybe bishop b b3 or and now of course I'm developing my bishop. Of course, maybe knight f3 castling. And now of course I'm developing my bishop. Of course, maybe knight f3 castling. And now then course I'm developing my bishop. Of course, maybe. Knight f3 castling, and now then I'm the bishop. Okay, a5. You see, the opponent is still dreaming about, okay, about a5. Uh, you see, the opponent is still what can I do about, okay, a5. Uh, you see, the opponent is still maybe I can just play bishop g5. Okay, the idea is to play e5 right now. Maybe I can just play bishop g5. The idea is to play e5 right now. Maybe I can just play bishop g5. The idea is to play e5, bishop e7. e7. Okay, and now I think that right now I've got the chance e7. to do some okay, kind now, of trick. You can see that right now that I can play e5. With the idea I know that d4 pawn is gonna be weak. You can see, but that I want to trade that idea. I know that I want to move my knight to e4. You can see, but and you can see that dark squares are gonna be very weak. And I'm gonna put my knight on dark squares this dark squares. Okay, 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 okay
okay, you can see my knight at, d at d6 is very good, but it doesn't mean that that I win, right? I need to I need to play very accurate way in that position. Yes, it was it was semi slav but without knight f6, e6 in the move number three. What can I do with this? Maybe just queen c2. The idea is to I see weakness, so I'm just attacking that weakness. Okay, knight b8. But if he's forced to play moves like that, it cannot it cannot be good. Ah, hello Kruzzi, nice to see you. Okay, definitely white has got an advantage, but how can I use it? Good question is, can I maybe capture that knight or not? Because that knight at d5 is very good, so maybe I should just capture that. Okay, maybe I capture and I will play b4 to fix that bishop, that light square bishop. Is going to be very, very bad. You can see that we've got a structure, pawn structure uh, from the French defense. I usually play black, so I know that that bishop is very bad. This is why I will play b4, bl blocking that bishop. That bishop cannot move out. You see, it's totally, totally blocked. Okay, a4, but but now you can see that my c file is that good, so of course rook goes. Ah, okay, now I see the only idea that I see for black, and that idea actually might be good, is knight d7, knight goes here, and knight goes c4. This is the only chance that black has got, so I need to do something to, bl to block it. Yeah, maybe I'll just move queen c7. Yeah, I think I think that pushing f pawn is a good idea. This is very typical idea in this kind of center. Uh, but before I will think about this, uh, I would like to do something on the queen side. So this is why maybe queen c7. Prophylactic before be, because I was a little bit afraid of knight 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 b6. Yeah, but but Kruzzi, you're right. F f for f5 is very typical idea in this kind of positions. This kind of center. Hello Ravi, nice to see you. Yeah, I, ju I just Ravi started, so... Uh, okay, what can I do in this position? h6 doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I will just move my... activate my knight, because knight is not doing that much. Knight to d3, because knight can go to c5. And another idea is that my f pawn is, is free to go. Knight e8. 91, sorry. Yeah, knight at d6 is, is like perfect, right? So. And let's see what, what, what my opponent can do here. Okay, queen d8. Take a look. It's 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 not a pleasure to play as a black one when opponent has got knight like that. Okay, what should I do with this? Uh his idea is to capture and probably knight b6. What can I do about it? Uh, I can always capture and play rook c6, blocking that, blocking that, uh, that idea. Yeah, because actually right now this idea also works. Or maybe I should capture and yeah, maybe the you know simple solution. I capture, I play rook c6, e6 pawn is bad, knight is coming here, f4, f4 pawn is moving forward. Okay, should I capture with what? I can capture with a pawn or I can capture even with a knight. Maybe with a pawn, you know, to, to keep my knight here. Yeah, of course, f4, f4, of course, is 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 natural idea, right? First of all, it defends that pawn. Second thing, it threats to play f5. Okay, right now I can also I can try to play g4 and then f5. So this is one idea, but I'm just thinking, is it that better to to do something on the queen side? Maybe knight c5. Maybe I can trade that 
annoying knight. Okay, maybe right now it's not very annoying, but if he can play later something like here, knight b6, knight c4, you see, I don't want to give him any counterplay. Knight c5. Okay, don't want to capture with a pawn, because b4, capture with a rook. And take a look. For the end game, my king has got a, you see, very nice path, right, to enter to the black's position. Okay, so what? King moves forward. Act in the end game, active king is very, very important. Okay, the only... Uh, hello, Blobe, nice to see you. So, Kruzi are playing tournament tomorrow, right? Uh, tomorrow. Okay, h5, g3. Prophylactic move. He has got a light square bishop, so I want to move my pawns on the dark squares. Okay, king d8, king d4. Okay, and rook c6. You can see my king is very close. I think that I can even trade rooks, and it should be, it should we win. Rook b6 or what? Pin. Now he's playing. Okay, but now he made a mistake. You see, it's not so easy to defend all the all the time in this kind of positions, right? It's not a pleasure to play such a defensive position. I'm playing French, so I played it like hundred of times. So <laughs> I know how my opponent uh, how my opponent uh, felt. Uh, okay, we've got the next game. Okay, d4. Okay, let's play knight f6. Let's start from this, this variation. Hello, Weiler. Hello, Debugger. Uh, ah, okay, French Championship in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm not streaming. I'm just streaming, you know, today in the, in the evening, but in Polish. But good luck, Blobe. Hope you will do a good result. Hello, Anna. Okay, and let's play b6. Uh, it is called Nimzo Indian, right? Or, or actually, it is called Queen's Indian. And bishop a6. Okay, queen c2. And I think that right now, I should have played c5, if I'm not wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm not. Uh, so Kruzi, I hope that you you will uh, you will you will get your uh, second category tomorrow. Okay, what should I do? Should I play knight c6? Honestly, I got no idea about you know about uh, theoretical lines in that position. Uh, I usually do not play queen's Indian. Uh, yeah, bishop a6 is a very typical idea, but now I think there is no. No point for the bishop at a6, so I will just move back to b7. My idea was that to to force him to move queen to c2. That was actually my idea. And I want to move knight c6, right? Later capture d4. And he cannot play d5 because I've got always knight b4. Knight b4 is move that works when queen is at c2 and it doesn't work when queen is at d1. So I, I, that was my idea, actually. Maybe I should start playing more, more often that, that Queen's Indian, because 
I like that kind of positions. I mean, I know that I usually play with d5. With my when my pawn is at d5, this is more common to me. But okay. Hello, Pierre bro. Pierre bro. Nice to see you. Yeah, d5 megas. Uh, about d5, d5 is a very typical idea, but with a queen at c2, it doesn't work, right? Because I can capture and then knight b4. That's the that it was my idea. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, I think, but I think that uh, Anna that there are another openings with 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 even more theory than Queen in, Queen's Indian. I think that Queen's Indian is very positional opening, and if you learn just couple basic ideas, that's that that's good, right? It's enough, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but I have I have never played Queen's Indian. Okay, knight c3. He's obviously trying to play e4, right? This is actually the idea. You know that what what uh, that that when you are starting from d4 in the first move, you usually play. You are trying to play e4 later, right? And even I think it was Reti or another player from like 100 years ago. He said that what? No, it was Grimfett, Sorry. What's the what was the point of playing d4? Because when you are later trying to play e4 hold the game, if you can just play e4 in the first move, right? So, <laughs> yeah, that kind of <laughs> that kind of things. Okay, but I think I can make castle here. I'm not afraid. He can play e4. I'm not that afraid. Uh, yeah, my gosh, I know that idea d5. Uh, but but when I've got a bishop at b7, knight f6, I think it doesn't work. It works when queen is at d1, but that idea doesn't work when queen is at c2. Yeah, if you are afraid of Sicilian, so... <laughs> Okay, a3. Ob I mean, obvious idea. He, he will try to play b4 somehow. What can I do about it? Um, can I play, I don't know, knight d4, first idea. Knight d4, knight captures d4, bishop captures g2. Maybe. No, because knight e6, I think that there is an in-between move. So... Yeah, I need to I need to be very very careful. Or maybe just d5. Pawn captures, knight captures. Hmm. Okay, what 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 else can I do in that position? Because I don't want to play a5. I mean, I'm a little bit afraid of my light squares after after this move, right? Because b5 is very very weak. I would rather play, you know, different way. I'm just thinking about knight d4, but yeah, probably probably I cannot do that, and that that might be a problem. Okay, on the other hand, b4 and what? Okay, I play a. I would just play a6. After b4, I will just you know move back. Yeah, and I think that uh, here, what might happen is transposition into this famous pawn structure that is called Hedgehog. You know, Hedgehog pawn structure. If he plays something like e4, I play d6, we've got a hedge, Hedgehog pawn structure. Usually that pawn structure comes from, comes from Sicilian. Okay, queen c7. I'm just waiting for e4 move. <coughs> okay. 
okay what white is going to do okay honestly we are not managing i mean me and my opponent but we both right we are not managing our time that well if we are playing 10 minute games and after 12 moves i've got six minutes he, he has got five minutes so <laughs> i expect time troubles uh, in the both sides right later okay i'll just play d6 why not And then rook c8, rook d8. Yeah, and we've got a hedgehog, right, pawn structure. Mm, okay, he's trying to play this move, but I've got always knight d7. So, so what? So, rook goes here. Yeah, that's, that's rook rook. <laughs> okay, knight goes to d7. Knight defense here. Uh, I know that Black's position looks looks that Black is in very in the defense, right? Totally agree, right? But uh, that structure it is called Hedgehog, right? So Hedgehog is also, you know, in the defense, but he can uh, he can uh, use his spikes, right? So spikes, I mean. Okay, rook, rook d8, and I will try to use them. In some lines, I can play b5, or I can play d5, or I can play knight e5. So I've got a couple, you know, ideas, a couple things to do in that position. Yeah, hello, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yeah, queen, queen goes here and here. I mean, first of all, Ravi, I think that uh, b6 pawn is hanging. That's the, that's the thing. So I don't think that this move is that good. Moreover, I think that a, a8 is not the most, the best place for, for the queen. Okay, he's trying to checkmate me fast. Okay, should I do play g6 or what? Okay, why not? G6. Uh, okay, H goes there. Maybe Bishop F6 or Knight E5. Yeah, I mean, Kruzzi, in that position, Black is just waiting for, you know, White's inaccuracy, right? It's not like that I will attack very fast here, right? Okay, I just play Knight E5. I can attack C4. Why not? Okay, and I will try to... I will try to... I will try to trade bishops and put the pressure to the c4 pawn. Hello, Lentini. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you see. It's not... It's not so easy. I understand. I, I mean, I agree that white's position is, you know, more active, but... But take a look here. I think I'm good, right? What can he do to me? Hello, Ludwig. Nice to see you. Yeah, I see Kappa that your polish is better and better. <laughs> uh, okay, so what? Should I capture? Okay, let's capture that bishop. Okay, and I think that maybe right now I should strongly... Why not b5? This is a good question. Or c5? No. Pawn captures, pawn captures. I've got more pieces, I think, there. So you see, I'm just... I'm just uh, remember that, that Hedgehog has got spikes. So b5. Yeah, uh, really, Kappa? I thought that you already know two Polish words. <laughs> not just only one. Okay, h5. He's also trying to attack me, right? Uh, what should I do here? What is the threat? 
Okay, can I capture? Can I just capture at C4 or not? Okay, let's 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 capture. Hello, Buskiap. Uh, Norwegian rat, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice idea. Uh, okay, what should I do? Should I? I'm up. So usually, when you're up, what should you do? You should trade. Can I? Can I try to trade queens, or it is risky? If queen captures, what can he do? Queen b2 probably. Uh, queen g4. He cannot trap me. I hope. So let's try to trade something. Hope it's not a blunder, but. Okay, queen b1 and queen g4 probably. Why not? Okay, I didn't follow banter blitz, so. Uh, Norwegian defense, I don't know even. <laughs> okay, f3. Okay, can I capture? I cannot capture that pawn because rook is going to h1. So I need to offer him another trade. After B captures C4, he cannot. I think that there was no need for him to to recapture with a queen, cause cause only rook defends here, right? And my two pieces were attacking, so I think that even easier was just to you know. Even easier it was just to uh, capture that queen. g6 and knight f6 <laughs> okay knight e4 he obviously don't want to trade so maybe i sh i need to force him to do that uh so d5 maybe okay let's trade <coughs> g4 okay <laughs> okay the only place for my queen is e5 i think Okay, bishop d4. Okay, it's it's a little bit annoying that I cannot find the right place for my queen because wherever I go, he always attacks me. It's a little bit annoying. So what should I do? Queen c7 probably. I think that c7 is finally the safe place. Okay, pawn captures. What should I do? I don't want to capture. I, I cannot capture with a pawn because uh, with h pawn because rook h1 and you know some kind of checkmate there. I need to capture that way. Okay, knight is hanging. Okay, finally I hope that I can trade something. Later I can always play queen c2. C5, I capture with a knight or not, or with a no, with a knight. Okay, and if I capture with a bishop, of course, there is rook c1, so I need to be very, very careful. Just e5, I think. Why not? Okay, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I saw that 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 he cannot trap my queen, right? So Morkiam, uh, I knew that he cannot do that, right? If I didn't knew, I I wouldn't like to do them do that. Uh, okay, I need to defend that pawn somehow. I don't want to play d4 because you know queen a2 and some kind of checks. So queen queen c6, but still queen a2 and then e4. Okay, again, little bit annoying. Okay, d4. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, just just give me please one second. Let me finish that game, cause cause I've got one minute. Let me finish that game. Okay, queen e6. It was I knew that this is this is probably. I was a little bit afraid of that, but okay, I think I can capture, can't I? Okay, let's capture. Bishop g3, bishop d6 probably. Okay, we, we are playing now, we are playing bullet, so... Uh, okay, I'm not playing like bullet player. <laughs> you can see that, okay, look at that. Okay, I don't want to lose some time. Okay, I've got just only nine seconds. Okay, I won. But okay, <laughs> take a look. I had got that big advantage, and 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 time advantage, right? And and then we made this couple. Um, yeah, it till the end. I I made move so slowly that I, okay, it was like a. Or I should definitely play faster. Yeah, but thank you, debugger. Very very good game. Uh, I really like this one. Very good game, debugger. Uh, Okay, uh, let's 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 play something else. And let me write what did you write on 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 the chat because I didn't follow. Uh, what literature do I recommend? Uh, <coughs> I mean, <clears throat> for the openings, uh, you know, it's it's not that there is you know one one thing to. Uh, that you can learn whole openings. I usually recommend to study, you know, strong players' games and fresh games, right? Not games from, you know, like 20 years ago, but fresh games. And 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 personally, I I, I really like this this opening book, right? So it's not not that. Mm. Yeah, I usually use that opening book because I think that until the right, you know, till 2300, it's enough, right? Of course, you understand. You need to understand the ideas from the openings, but uh, yeah. But this, in these opening books, there is a lot of a lot of uh, answers for a lot of questions. Uh, okay, one second. <laughs> okay, Ravi. Okay, I see your, I see your, uh, <laughs> I see your post. Yeah, maybe maybe I should have write a book about Sicilia and 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 my 10 worst games in Sicilian, right? Uh, debugger, B4. Uh, yeah, I mean, B4, I think you were you were still doing good. This is typical pawn structure called Hedgehog. And um, yeah, I think that you could also play E4 in some, in some part of... Uh, <clears throat> and it would be good for you, right? But you need to know that it's not so easy to, to, to crush that, right? That position. Uh, hello, Hunted Sink. Okay. C6. Okay, let's play E3. Let's play. We've got a slab defense right now. 
<laughs> ja. <laughs> ja, kappa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I should I should do that, right? One on one queen sacrifices. I think I sacrificed queen once in my life, so it was. <laughs> I need to sacrifice it one more time. Okay, maybe once it was sacrificed, then ten, one hundred times it was a blunder. Okay, and my opponent is trying to play. I don't like this kind of playing because he's not playing this stone wall immediately, which which I think that the best response for that is the G3 plan, but he's playing B C6 and then F5. And now position is a little bit different. And what I need to what white needs to do in that position? Make castle and then play rook b1 and push push it forward. Push that b5 b pawn forward. So that's the uh, that's the thing. Uh, hello Bigfoot, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, it's a new layout, so <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy. And yeah, my idea is to push that pawn forward as soon as I can. Uh, <laughs> okay, b4. He will try to play f4, I will try to play b5. And you know, like in another, a lot of popular openings, right? Faster wins. If he's faster on the king side, he's going to win. But I will try to be faster. Okay, of course I need to play bishop d2 probably. Defense that and b5 is my next move. <laughs> yeah, so should should I say good night, Bigfoot, or ah, I see. <laughs> Okay, queen f6. So what? b5. I need to be faster. I mean, there is a risk that he will checkmate me, but yeah, like like always in the top panic. Yeah, good afternoon. <laughs> Okay, g5. What can I do? Of, of course, he, he's trying to play g4 and then capture at h2. This kind of Greek gift. Uh, and then queen h4, rook f6, rook h6. And a couple times it happened that that opponent checkmated me. So maybe I should this move this prophylactic move, g3. Because I cannot for, for, forget about the defense. Okay, let's play, let's play g3 and let's see. After g4, of course, I'm gonna move knight h4, and then maybe knight g2. Okay, f4, his opening position. Okay. Uh, now the real threat is 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 g4. So now I've got an impression that maybe instead of playing bishop d2, better was to move knight c2 because that knight that sorry queen to c2. Because that queen uh, also attacks attacks e4. Yeah, I mean, I do not like. I really don't like to play against that that variation. And black looks good, right? I, I need to agree. But it doesn't mean that I will give up, right? What should I do to defend here? Probably capture with e pawn because if g4 comes, it's not good. What happens here? 
okay pawn captures and now i need to uh yeah my stream in polish is today at 7 7 p.m polish time so f feel invited yeah every friday at 7 p.m polish time is I i'm gonna stream in polish uh okay it, do you see any threats that he can create to me maybe i can just play you know maybe queen c2 right now to get rid of that knight or should i capture and then c5 or maybe just queen c2 i really don't like that knight at e4 so yeah okay let's try Yeah, but now I think you can see and you can understand me why I do not like to play against it. And yeah, because my black has got very strong attack on the king side and that is not so easy to stop, honestly. I mean, at least I, I, I don't know how to stop it, you know, properly. Okay, queen g6, uh, knight h4. What is he going to do with that queen? He needs to move queen and I can capture here, I think. Okay, let's let's try. If he captures FFG kappa, definitely I'm gonna capture with that pawn because it opens my rook. I don't wanna, you know, uh, my king doesn't want to commit suicide, right? Which can happen after H captures G3, so he can attack me through through uh, H5. So that's that. That's the thing. Uh, no, with f pawn. F pawn. Uh, Morkiam. So in that case, you need to <laughs> study end games more, right? That's that. That's the, but that's just a common problem. That end games is is a lot of people forget about the the end games. And end games, in my opinion, is End games and, and tactics, there are two things that are very, very important. Uh, hello, support life, nice to see you. Okay, I think I can capture here. I mean, yeah, but the good question is what black could play? I think I can win here and here. What else black could do, right? Queen cannot, that diagonal was too short for that queen. Uh, okay, queen goes there. Queen g2? Yeah, maybe let's keep it safe. But is queen g2 safe or stupid? Okay, let's play queen g2. Yeah, support life. I'm actually streaming every day from Monday, Monday to uh, sorry, yeah, from Monday to Friday, and on Friday I even stream twice in English and in the evenings in Polish. So. I think it's, I know that, I know, of course, streamers that are streaming more, right? But I think it's not that bad result. Okay, I'm up a pawn and take a look. His attack probably wasn't that good because, uh, I mean, I was, of course, I was scared a little bit, but he attacked me only with, you know, couple, couple things, right? These three things, let's say knight, right? And 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 I think that right now, if I got this counterplay, it's not that bad. Okay, e5. What he's trying to do? Okay, if I capture, knight captures. Sorry, bishop captures. Can I capture at c6? Maybe I can, but yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna eat too many pawns. Because it may be not be that good for me. Yeah, maybe just I will try to activate my bishops and my queens. Why not? So let's capture. Let's play bishop b4 later. Let's capture at c6, bishop f3. Why not? Yeah, fian fian queens fianchetto. Yeah, agree. <laughs> Knight g4, what's, but what's the, what's the threat that knight g4 creates? I do not see any significant threat that that move creates.
what what kind of I do not see I mean I've got a bishop here so I think it's I shouldn't be scared okay let's capture here let's capture c6 yeah usually usually two hours but uh, let's see <laughs> how long can I do today <laughs> Ah, before before Epon move. Uh, honestly, Morkiam, I do not remember that position before that that long. I mean, before e5. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe knight g4 was because you can see it was 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 better because you can see that in that position, actually my opponent hasn't got that much, and I'm playing this move. It attacks on c at c6. I don't want to capture with a queen. I really like my like Ravi said my fianchette. Fianchetto, Fianchetto Queen, right? So okay, I see free pawn. Should I capture? Why not? Okay, Bishop C4. Okay, but Bishop C4 is a blunder because I can capture at A8, and if my opponent captures here, I can just capture Bishop. With my rook, for example, queen defends bishop at a8. So you see, it was it was it was a blunder. And right now, I think that it's not that bad. Okay, f3. Okay, just capture. Yeah, maybe I should I should move my I should make this fianchetto queen more often. <laughs> okay, very funny, Cruzzi. <laughs> yeah, my bishop. At, you can see that bishop at this diagonal is capturing everything, whatever appears. Pawn, another pawn, rook. Yeah, now the, the game is over, right? Because he blundered, right? The bishop b5 wasn't that accurate, but I got a feeling that when I stopped his attack on the queen side, it was it wasn't that bad. Okay, is it is it the next blunder? What happens if I capture queen d5? Fork. Yeah, it looks looks like the next blunder. So that's the that's the thing. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. You see, at the beginning, I was expecting more. I think you you had got the same the same impression that. Uh, I expected more from my opponent's attack, but but you know in in some point that attack stopped and that was that was that was kind of a problem. Uh, the rook. <laughs> okay, Fianchet the rook is an interesting idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe you should do that in one game and we can call it Ravis rook, right, or <laughs> something like that. Yeah, bishop like Patsman, right? <laughs> okay, I see that today we've got a uh, Slav defense, Slav defense day. Uh, Falkber, I see your challenge, so you are next. The next game is yours. Eritrea, okay. I think this this is my first opponent from Eritrea. Okay, and right now, okay, let's play knight knight c3. Do we do not play Meran Merano or yeah, let's try to play main lights. Okay, bishop g4. Usually e6 is a, a good move. D capture c4 is a good move. G6 Schlechter variation is a good move. Never seen bishop g4, honestly. Uh, no, pawn c5. No, no, no. Support life. It's a very bad idea because it gave uh, black an opportunity later to counterplay e5. Never play c5 in that position. It should be forbidden. Uh, okay, but G why bishop g4? I never seen that. Maybe because knight goes to e5, attacking that that bishop. Uh, 
Yeah, Cru Cruzzi, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, 95 looks good. And now I think I can play something like Queen B3. Because you see, in Slav defense, when... Okay, can I do that? I think so. In Slav defense, that bishop cannot move out that fast because b7 is very weak. And this is common idea to attack that two points, right? Here and here with queen at b6. I'm playing Slav defense as a black, so I know that it can be, uh, it can be, it can be good. Yeah, just just c c5 is not not the good choice, not a good choice. Uh, okay, queen b6. What should I do right now? Um, probably if I capture, I capture it, or should I capture a d5? Yeah, maybe I capture d5. He captures my queen. Okay, I think I see something good. Now I've got an open rook here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what, what, what my opponent can do right now? I think that maybe the best move is to capture knight d5. Because if he captures with a pawn, how is he going to to to, to play after my knight b5 move? One threat, another threat, rook is here. After the knight a6, I've got a nice sacrifice at a6. Yeah, queen d8, but I've got another knight f7. So, uh, you see, I think that it wasn't the best way how black can play this slav defense, right? Uh, especially especially uh, mo moving out that, that light square bishop that fast when there is a knight at c3 is not good. You can see that at, at, at this picture, right? That black's position is not that good. Okay, knight e4. He's trying to play bishop b4 and checkmate me, maybe, right? So, what should I do? f3 doesn't work, of course. I mean, he's trying to do the same to me, right? Bishop b4 and then king d1, knight f2, right? So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, what should I do about it? What can I do? Maybe knight c3, knight goes back. Or knight d6. Yeah, maybe knight d6. You're up, you should trade. Should I? Knight c3, bishop b4. Bishop d2. Yeah, maybe, maybe this looks, it looks better. <laughs> Thank you, support life. <laughs> and bishop goes to d2. I know that knight captures d2, king captures, and, and pawn goes to d4, but... But I, I will try to move my knight from h8 to, to, to f7 or something. Yeah, and I will try to uh, save my knight. I didn't expect that I can save it. Yeah, okay. He, my opponent chose to capture that knight instead of instead of uh, instead of c3 knight, so I can play e3. And I need to develop my pieces, right? Because I know that I'm up like a rook and probably one or two pawns, but I cannot forget about my pieces development. This is this is too important thing. So what, bishop b5. I want to trade. Yeah, it should be. Okay, what should I do? Maybe rook a4. What is he going to do with that bishop? Okay, a5. Yeah, a5 was, was good. Can I play queen e2 or not? King e2. Okay, why not? 
he captures my knight and I need to find a way how can I open that position. Knight a2 maybe. That bishop is under attack, so if bishop moves back I can capture pawn. If it doesn't move, uh, I just capture bishop. Hello, see tile. Uh, <laughs> don't be sorry, I also would like to think like a grandmaster. Unfortunately, I'm only international master, so... <laughs> So I cannot show you how to think like a grandmaster. Yeah, I mean, you know, I decided to do something else, right? Then, 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 then continue playing, right? So playing chess as a because I was twelve, sorry, I was twenty, right? And I had to decide. And I decided to, you know, to go study, right, and do something else than chess. This is why I, I'm just only an I am. Kappa rook h8. Uh, <laughs> it captured. It captured my knight, right? So yeah. Hello, Vevo. Uh, see through tile, uh, there is a queue, right, to, to playing, so, uh, yeah, there the, the are a couple people before you, right? Hello, Hot Giro. Uh, no, I don't like to play with music. <laughs> I know that maybe it's like, <laughs> it's more fun, but... I usually prefer without. Uh, okay, but let's let's take a look at this position. What should I do? Because I see that he has got some kind of counterplay, and I need to block it somehow. It would be nice if I can block it. Can I do anything here? Okay, but what's the what's the problem? I need to maybe I need to use my pass. I need to I've got a pass pawn. How can I use it? Maybe g4 and push it forward. Or maybe even better, rook g5. This is kind of a trap move. Uh, okay, let's try let's try this move. After rook c2, I'm gonna play king d1. And there is a threat of removing of the defender, and there is another threat that I will play g4. Let's let's try to do that. Okay, he didn't. Opponent probably saw that idea. Uh, okay, h4 probably. Defends my rook. Yeah, Medin. Uh, yeah, that was it. Was my idea, right, to play that, uh, to play these things. Uh, now, uh, Veraces. I know that it sounds that it's only one hundred points, but believe me that it, that the difference between international master and grand master is is huge, right? It's not like one hundred points at this level. It's 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 not that easy to to make. You need to practice a couple years to do that, right? To see that difference. This is much bigger difference than, for example, between uh, let's say fifteen hundred and sixteen hundred. Yeah, kappa here. You are totally right. Yeah, you need to. You need to spend a lot of time and a lot of a lot of work, first of all, right, to do that, uh, to become a grandmaster. Okay. 
okay checkmates can i checkmate him somehow maybe it's not that easy uh, okay what should i do here <laughs> what kind of music do i like <laughs> okay i see I, I see your question uh i i like different uh different kind of music i like but i think okay one second i need to take a look my favorite band is offspring if you like it so but uh, but i don't like it combined that with with a with a, with a chess okay rook g8 because honestly i expected that i will finish that game much faster than now so yeah, I need to I need to concentrate and do something. <laughs> yes, of of course Banta Bantadora. <laughs> okay, what is the easiest the fastest way for me to win that? Can I check checkmate him somehow? Maybe Rook goes here, Rook goes here, and then F4. Checkmate. Or maybe I'll capture that pawn. Yeah, and then I will try to capture at c6. What d4 is coming? Don't 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 tell me that d4 is coming. Okay, queen goes here. Let's try to checkmate my opponent and let's try to finish that because, yeah, it takes definitely too long to me. Should I capture d4 or rook f8? Does it make any sense, rook f8? Or rook h7. Okay, I will capture rook h7 because yeah, trying to checkmate him. <coughs> yeah, I'm a little bit afraid of his pawns on the on the queen side. So this is why I will try to check checkmate him as soon as I can. Yeah, if you, mm, yeah, I will try to use double rooks and hot girl. If you want to, if you want to this, uh, I am sign on chess.com. You just need to write to them, and they will they will put it. Okay, finally, I am pretty sure that I can checkmate him. You see, power of two rooks. Because now he cannot, I'm pretty sure he cannot stop Rook H8. Yeah, and I think, I think, okay, finally I end this game because honestly, after the opening, I was sure that this game will last like 25 moves, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't that easy, honestly. So you see, I made this mistake that I didn't put too many attention when I was up like a couple points. And this is this is a big mistake that I just made, right? So, uh, yeah, just just try to <laughs> do not make the same mistake like I did. Uh, okay, Falkberg, good luck. Okay, let's play d5, let's play Queen's Gambit, maybe. c4. What should I do? Okay, let's try to play e6 maybe. Okay, knight c3. I can play c5, I can play c6, I play usually bishop e7 or knight d7. Okay, let's maybe play c6. Semislav.
Uh, okay, I will play this semi slap here. Uh, <laughs> Ravi, I just I just realized your 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 request to light a little bit. <coughs> okay, pawn captures, pawn captures, and, and as you can see, we've got a famous pawn structure that is called Kalsbad. And in the Kalsbad pawn structure, there is one common plan: white minor. It is called that is called minority attack. So white will try to attack here, and I will try to attack here. Minority attack, because two pawns will attack my three pawns. You can see that. So okay, and I will also try to attack here and f4 maybe somehow. Definitely on the king side. Hello, Aidan. Nice to see you. Yeah, and in Kazbat structure, very common move for black is knight e4. Moving knight to e4 and then pushing f5. So I think queen e7 and knight e4 in the next moves. Moreover, queen at e7 has got also second idea. It not only supports e4 square, but it also helps to block b4 ide white's idea of playing b4. So you see two ideas in one move. You mean you mean Kruzzi this rook e1 and e4? Okay, pawn goes to e4, so I capture. Okay, I think that it wasn't it wasn't the best idea for white to do that, because as you can see. Right in that position, white, maybe I'm wrong, right? But white has got an isolated pawn here. That it's not that good, right? That isolated pawn. And now I wanted to play knight f6. This is the first move because uh, this is the first move that comes into my mind, knight f6. <coughs> but I'm a little bit afraid what happens if he moves bishop g5. And after h6, bishop h4. I really hate that kind of pins, and yeah, that might be a problem. This is why I'm more thinking about pushing my pawn to h6 and then move that knight to b6. I don't want to do that. I don't want to let him do that pin to me. I remember last week I, I lost I lost one important game in such a that this way because of that pin. So this is why I'm play h6. Ah, queen captures e4. <laughs> Ex excellent. That uh, I'm blind. <laughs> okay, you're right. You know, you see, I was talking, 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 but <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're you're right. Okay, you can see that I, I had got a blackout. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I talk too much. Uh, yeah. Okay, but but right now, of course, I cannot play knight f6. Yeah, you are right, totally right. I could play knight f6, uh, and after he moves bishop back, I play h6, and this this is fine. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, I'm blind. To, I don't know what kind of blackout. Okay, and now, of course, there is a threat of discovered attack, so I need to move my queen to f6. And then knight b6. Yeah, I still I think that my idea is not a disaster, but of course the idea that x line had said was, was much better. Okay, bishop d2, knight b6. The same idea. What you need to do with an isolated pawn, you need to block it. First and basic thing. So it would be nice if I can play bishop e6, then maybe bishop d5 or knight d5. It, sh it should be nice. Okay, knight e5. Of course, I cannot capture. I mean, if I capture here, pawn captures, queen cannot capture because there is a bishop h7 move, discovered attack. So I don't want to do that, of course. Yeah, but maybe I should just stick with my plan, so bishop e6. I'm going to attack that d4 pawn. And maybe rook on the d file and and yeah block an isolated pawn and then 
make a very strong pressure to that. This is what one, what, you know, what should you do? Okay, rookie three. Uh, usually white has got two ideas. When, I mean white, I mean the side with an isolated pawn. One idea is to push that pawn forward uh, but in that position, of course, it is not possible. And second idea is to attack my king's position. And I think that white is doing a great... This is a great idea for white, right? To move the rook on the third rank. And he will try to move off one of these two squares and create a couple threats to, to my king. So, yeah. So I need to be very, very careful in this position. And I need to trade as many minor pieces as I can. So maybe bishop d5, not knight d5, because knight d5, okay, knight is there, but what's, what happens? I need to try to trade that bishop, maybe. Can I play knight, d, sorry, bishop d5 or not? Bishop d5. Uh, if bishop captures, can I capture with, if I capture with a knight, is there is there something like knight d7 move? Yeah, there might be. And fork. So you see, uh, yeah, fork. You see that it's not so easy, but hmm. But a rook is also hanging at e3. So if I can, if I could move my queen somewhere, like even queen d8. If he captures, uh, I capture at e3. Okay, let's do that. I need to trade. I need to trade a couple pieces. In the worst case, I will capture with a pawn, but only in the worst case. Yeah, but 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 White is is doing you know, is doing well that that position right. They are playing very well. Opponent is trying to attack my king's position. Ah, okay. If anyone if anyone wants to play against me today, so just just let me know, cause I think I can play like maybe maybe two or three games today. Let me know on chat. Uh, okay, but let's see. I've got only four minutes which is not that good, but cannot do much with that. Uh, Zohan boy, what is what is your nickname? If you can let me know what is your nickname and, and please send me a 10 minutes challenge or five minutes challenge. Five plus five maybe is the best. But let me know what is your nickname. Uh, okay, rook f3. I think I need to capture here. And if queen capture, I mean, he cannot capture at f6 because queen is hanging. So, okay, let's capture here. Yeah. I think I can do that. Queen captures and queen moves to e6 or something. Hello, Abu Jagor. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm doing well. And you? Okay, what should I do? Queen e6 probably. What, what 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 else? Okay, queen goes to e6. Okay, so Dr. Johan, I'm just waiting for, for your invitation. I'm for your challenge. Yeah, I hope that I will also uh, <laughs> be fine after that game and my opponent will not checkmate me, I hope. Yeah, if I can trade this... I mean, I'm glad because I tra I, I exchanged this this minor pieces. I mean, that especially that light square bishop. So, yeah, I need to keep trading. Uh, okay, rook goes there. Is there any threat, di di direct threat or not? I do not see any. So what, knight d5? Bring my knight closer to the game. Or knight c4 maybe. Offer him another trade. Knight goes to c4. What he's going to do? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm more like knight. I don't know why. Knight d5 looks, looks better to me. What, what do you mean trap with the bishop? Uh, f6. Uh, I think that after f6 there is a queen g6 move and threats at g7. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that it was a very good idea. Uh, f6. I don't want to move pawns from my king if, I, if I'm not forced to. And bishop h6 right now... I mean, I saw that move, but after bishop h6, queen captures h6, I see rook h3, but there is always knight f6. This is why I played knight d5, to bring my knight closer to the, to the position. It was actually my idea, right, to prevent that. But it's a good point, hot girl, that you, that you see that, because it's not that easy tactics to, to see. Okay, should I bring my another rook or what? After rook e8 here, I'm a little bit afraid of, you know, moves like knight d7. Uh, yeah, a little bit afraid. Maybe I should move my queen somewhere. Yeah, but where can I move it? Yeah, okay, I see invitation. After the next game is yours. Okay, what should I do to prevent? You see, it's it's a lot, a lot of threats is in that position, so... You know, in the worst case, I can always capture that that annoying knight. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know that the rook is there hanging right after that, but... Okay, well, okay, take a look. I've got less than two minutes. Okay, I will do that, but... Or should I play a five? Or... Okay, I'll bring this rook, but... But my time is very bad, so... Yeah, and hello days of wrath. Yeah, but you know, he can easily move that rook somewhere. Like, if I move my queen to f6, he can give me, a, you know, this... Check to my queen, like rook f3 or something. f6, f6, I don't want to play f6 because queen goes to g6. Uh, I would rather prepare it more, like maybe f4 maybe. Uh, okay, one second, what happens here? Queen h4. Queen f6, can I do queen f6 or not? Okay, it doesn't look good. Okay, one, one minute. I need to decide fast. Uh, okay, what should I do? Bishop e7, maybe. Yeah, but what's the what's the point of playing bishop b7? Queen f5, h6 is hanging, so maybe I should move my king somewhere, but not to h8, maybe. <laughs> okay, king goes. Okay, let's play king h7, but yeah, I'm not so convinced to that move, but okay. Let's move it. Okay, I need to. I've got one minute, so now bullet starts. Maybe f5, bishop captures. I need to play as simple as possible. Yeah, that's the, that's the my problem that I've got only one minute, so I need to do fast moves. Maybe they, they will be not the most accurate, but... <coughs> okay, I'll capture. Probably this is not the most accurate move, but you know. I need to get rid of, you know, all the threats. Okay, what happens if rook captures? <clears throat> this is a good question, because <laughs> probably I missed something. <laughs> yeah, it looks, looks that I missed something. Rook captures if I find I'm losing. Because, yeah, probably you will see that rook captures e5 and I lose. Because uh, if I move queen f6, queen e4, check and double attack. And after queen d7, there is... Uh, there is 
Rook G7. Perfect move. Okay. Can I can I stop it somehow? I don't think so. Yeah, rook e5 and I'm losing. Okay, that bishop e6 was really stupid move. Bishop e5. Okay, let's play this move because... Yeah, but rook g7 and checkmate in three moves, right? You can see that. So, <laughs> yeah, so that attack was too, too good, right? So, uh, yeah, rook g7 right now and I'm losing. Checkmate in, in two or three moves. And rook g5. But very, very nice uh, final of this game. Unfortunately, my opponent won, but... Yeah, but it was it was really 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 good idea uh, for White, and I think you you need to uh, yeah th th thank thanks Falber, but but this I really like your final attack, and it was like a uh, very nice one, right? So congratulations, very nice game. Yeah, good game. Thank you, thank you, Falber. Thanks for playing. <laughs> I hope someday I can take a rematch against you <laughs> and, and, and and win. Hopefully I can win. Uh, yeah, but, but really, really, really nice final. Uh, okay, let's play the next game against Dr. Johan. Uh, okay, we've got the English. Just let me. Uh, yeah, that's true. Queen f6 uh, and then queen e4 wins rook, right? Uh, yeah, but support life time is also part of the of the of the chess game, right? So it's it's not an excuse, right? But but in the whole game, I couldn't I couldn't uh, properly play against that isolated pawn. So that was that was the my problem, right? And 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 White made a great attack. Falber made a great attack on the king side, and and you know just checkmated me. Uh, F6 move. Knight F6. You mean uh, King F1? Take a look. What is happening here? Okay, castling. Probably misclick. Okay. Yeah, maybe definitely, definitely, uh, Medit. I should have played better because that final wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, I saw misclick, right? That 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 I didn't defend very well. So yeah, that's the that's the, that's the thing. Uh, okay, uh, D four. What should I do? Okay, let's capture and let's play what. Okay, I need to develop my, my pieces, so maybe bishop d7. Hello, ZB, nice to see you. Yeah, my idea is to play rook b8, a6, and, and then b5. So, yeah, and I will try to, I will try to do that. Okay, a6. Okay, can I play e5 or not? Sometimes you can meet similar ideas in this kind of position. Uh, why not, maybe? Or maybe rook b8 first, and then maybe e5. Because his king is in the center, so I need to op if I can open the center, uh, this is nice. Okay, let's capture that. And e5 maybe or not. Or queen d7. How can I attack that pawn? Queen b6 maybe. Bishop goes to e3, now b2 is hanging. 
because I need to use the fact that king is still in the center. So maybe it wasn't very clever move to move my rook to b8. Because, yeah, especially that I, I now I'm playing queen b6. And I think I can capture c4 pawn right now. Okay, rook e8, defending that pawn. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid. I think that he should be afraid a little bit of the diagonal. But the question is, how can I use it? How can I use the diagonal? Knight d5 is not that good because knight captures d5 and my queen is under attack. So what should I do here? Okay, I will just move knight, knight back. Okay, king is there, maybe knight g4, makes some pressure here and opens that bishop. Why not? Okay, now I think I can capture. Okay, knight g4 doesn't work because he's got a queen there. Uh, so maybe rook c8. Rook on the open file is always good, so yeah, why not? Yeah, but white is developing well, right? Despite that, I mean, I know that there was this misclick, right? King f1, but despite of that, white white is developing quite well in that position. Yeah, and I'm just all the time thinking, how can I use that kind of ideas? Maybe, maybe I need to move my knight somehow and then win that, win that knight at c3. Okay, but right now, can't I play knight c4? opens my bishop and rook is in trouble okay rook f3 knight b2 now oh, doesn't work probably yeah what should i do here I know that I can always, you know, to move knight e3 or something and, and win that knight, but it's only an exchange. I know that I'm up, so maybe, I mean, usually exchanges, exchanging pieces is good for me, but I've got a feeling that I've got more here. Okay, let's play maybe bishop d4. The idea is to move back my knight and that rook cannot go anywhere at that, at that, uh, at that uh, rank. Okay, rook c1 and knight goes to e5. Yeah, the question, good question is what that, rank, that rook is going to do. Yeah, rook is a little bit short in that position, right? That that rank is too short for that rook. So that's that's the kind of a problem. Okay. 
Hello Potenga, nice to see you. <laughs> uh, okay, what should I do here? Uh, if I capture Rook, I can capture that Rook of course, but then my opponent is planning probably to checkmate me at f7. So maybe if I play h6 first, should I play h6 or not? No, maybe, you know, I will just make it as simple as I can and I capture and then play rook f8. Simple solutions are usually good. And still remember that still there is a pin here. So what should you do when there is a pin? Put the pressure on the pinned piece, right? So. So I'm gonna put make some pressure there. <coughs> okay, maybe not, uh, maybe not rook c queen c7 because he just moved like knight e2 or something. So rook c4 first. Uh, about uh, first question, I see I see hello Kurangel. Uh, I was a little bit afraid of my knight e6 moves, right? So this is why I moved the rook, rook there. I think this is safe. And 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 about Potenga, your question. Uh, today, uh, I mean, I promised also one more game, so I'm gonna play only one game, short, and and I need to end right now. But but you can feel invited to the evening. In the evening, I've got Polish stream and we can play together. Because I gotta go today. After that game and one more, and I gotta go. But in the evening at 7 p.m., I, I'm I'm doing Polish stream, so feel invited there. Yeah, you can see that pin is is to. Okay, and of course I can capture that. Why not? Okay, and rook captures. Yeah, and I'm like upper rook, so it is pretty big advantage. Uh, you know what? I'm a little bit afraid of his counterplay, so I will just capture here. And yeah. And I will trade. You know that you're up, you should trade. I will capture that pawn. I will put that, move that pawn into the promotion square. I think that this is the easiest way for me to win. He cannot stop me. Because you know, uh, probably, I mean, it was win, right? But but I don't wanna, I don't wanna try. Uh, I don't wanna give him any 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 chances. Uh, thanks for playing. Good game. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Doctor Johan. Uh, okay, and I'm playing last game for today. Okay, knight f6, I capture here. I think that knight f6 wasn't the best idea because now I'm up a pawn. Okay, bishop g4, how can I defend it? Maybe e3. Let's let's keep it simple. And knight goes to c. Uh, knight goes to c3. I'm just developing my pieces, right? That's that's that, that's it, right? Let's try to keep it as simple as it is possible. Okay, h3. What is he going to do? Okay, queen captures. I'm up, so I should trade. Uh, okay, bishop c4. I think bishop looks good there. Okay, castling. And now I need to find a way how can I develop my queen side. Maybe b3 and bishop b2. 
yeah, let's 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 keep it simple. Rook c1, rook d1, and okay. Now maybe I need to start an attack. So maybe knight goes to the center because it opens my rook here, and I think I can also move my bishop to a3 later and create some threats on the diagonal. Why not? Okay, e5. Little bit risky in my opinion, because can can I play d5 right now? Because you can see that that x-ray is 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 a yeah okay. Now I've got a fork. So x-ray was very dangerous, right? You can see that. And now I've got a fork, and I think I've got a, another fork when I capture it. E7 for two rooks. So this is also. Uh -huh. This is also, yeah, looks that the game is, is right now, it's over. Okay, with a, without the queen, it's like, a, now it should be easy. Okay, let's capture, let's, let's, rook d7, f7 pawn is hanging. But I need to remember about my mistake. I was up a couple points, but from the games, I think three games ago, I was up a couple points and I thought that, okay, it's easy win, right? And <laughs> it wasn't that easy, right? I won, but after after long, long game. Okay, but my opponent resigned. Yeah, without the queen, it's not that, not that, not that good. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you very much for today. Uh, hope you enjoy. Remember that at... 7 p.m. there is a Polish stream and for the end uh, please follow if you still do not follow me and, and you can check the schedule for the next week and uh, please also say hi to Sam from me okay we are going to do that right because Sam is a uh, great streamer so please just say hi from me okay to Sam and what can I say have a nice weekend and goodbye <laughs>